couple of months ago, I did a video on Ronnie, so Ronnie, Ronnie O'Sullivan's uh, fastest ever 147. And I was just scouring through snooker, watching a bit of snooker uh, on YouTube. And I've just found this. And I, I have watched it. But I've got to say, this is amazing. And the reason I say it's amazing is because of everything that's got. Look at the table, right? He's in a, it looks like he's in a snooker club. Um, the green is, you can see everywhere. You can see parts of it are rough. He's, put, he's placing the balls himself. But the fact that the lad gets a 147 in 4 minutes 49 seconds, which is quicker than Ronnie O'Sullivan, by the way, on a perfect table. Now, he's probably only ever done this once. Um, but I just have to share it with you. So give the guy who posted it who I think actually did it, go and give him a view uh, and tell him what you think because this is just absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't think you see it from the actual break, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but still, we'll watch it from where he, he, got, where he uh, kicks off here. Because I think all the balls are still on the table. I think he's just broke. <laughs> he's confident, I can tell you that. What I think's happened is when he's broke, he's thought, you know what, I might be able to get a 147 here. I'm going to turn my camera on. So that's what he's done, I think. And yet the fact that he's done it in, what, four minutes with, with him having to place his own balls as well. very clean he's very confident i love it when people are confident on a nuke table absolutely love it you just know you're in the zone but as i've said before in many of my videos I can't, I can't get a break higher than 25 me in a club on these tables i just can't do it i love playing it but it's just never gonna happen i go for the chat and the uh My back hurts too much when I bend over the table as well. I'm absolutely loving this. I've only watched this one video of, of his on, on the channel. I've, I'm going to go and check in a bit and see what if he's got any others because I just thought this was absolutely brilliant you've got so many things going against you in a club because you wonder you don't even know is that his queue or is it somebody else's is, it, is that a club queue <laughs> a banana queue <laughs> It's a queue I always end up with, a banana queue. Or is that just an excuse? Who knows? Oh no, it looks like a twister, so it's probably his own queue. 
But it's got to be pretty, uh, pretty straight. The fact that he's having to place his own balls as well and he still gets it in such a time just ridiculous I want to know what he's going to do with this pink Well, no, I'm more concerned. What's he going to do with the blue? Because once he gets rid of the blue, I suppose he can just bang the pink in the middle, can't he? Well, that was perfect. Absolutely bloody fantastic. Absolutely bloody fantastic. I just thought you should all see that because I thought it was amazing. What do you think? Think it was any good? I wonder if he's even got a career in snooker because he should have a be in the low ends at least. You know, if he's playing in a club, he might be a famous snooker player for a while. But he seems to be in a club table, which you know they're not the best. You can you can see the. The graininess on it, you can see all the dints and everything in the table. So that was amazing for it is. Well, I'd uh, share it with you. See you in the next one.